Song of Solomon, Chapter 3 By night on my bed, I sought the one I love. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise now, I said, and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek the one I love. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen who go about the city found me. I said, Have you seen the one I love? Scarcely had I passed them when I found the one I love. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him to the house of my mother and into the chamber of her who conceived me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or by the doors of the field, do not stir up nor awaken love until it pleases who is this coming out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke perfumed with myrrh and frankincense with all the merchants fragrant powders behold it is solomon's couch with sixty valiant men around it of the valiant of israel they all hold swords being expert in war every man has his sword on his tie because of fear in the night of the wood of Lebanon, Solomon the king made himself a palanquin. He made its pillars of silver, its support of gold, its seat of purple, its interior paved with love. By the daughters of Jerusalem, go forth, O daughters of Zion, and see King Solomon with the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding the day of the gladness of his heart. Song of Solomon chapter 4 Behold, you are fair, my love. Behold, you are fair. You have dove's eyes behind your veil. Your hair is like a flock of goats going down from Mount Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of shorn sheep which have come up from the washing, every one of which bears twins and none is barren among them. Your lips are like a strand of scarlet, and your mouth is lovely. Your temples behind your veil are like a piece of pomegranate. Your neck is like the tower of David, built for armory, on which hang a thousand bucklers, all shields of mighty men. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle, which feed among the lilies, until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. I will go my way to the mountain of Mare and to the hill of frankincense. You are all fair, my love, and there is no spot in you. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse, with me from Lebanon. Look from the top of Amana, from the top of Sinir and Hermon, from the lion's dens, from the mountains of the leopards. You have ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse. You have ravished my heart with one look of your eyes, with one link of your necklace. How fair is your love, my sister, my spouse. How much better than wine is your love, and the scent of your perfumes, than all spices, your lips, O oh, my spouse, drip as the honeycomb. Honey and milk are under your tongue, and the fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with pleasant fruits, fragrant henna with spikenard spikenard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloes, with all the chief spices, a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon, a weak O north wind, and come, O south, blow upon my garden, that its spices may flow out, let my beloved come to his garden and eat its pleasant fruits. 
Song of Solomon, chapter 5 I have come to my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my mare with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O oh friends, drink, yes, drink deeply, O oh beloved ones. I sleep, but my heart is awake. It is the voice of my beloved. He knocks, saying, Open for me, my sister, my love, my dove, my perfect one. For my head is covered with dew, my locks with the drops of the night. I have taken off my robe. How can I put it on again? I have washed my feet. How can I defile them? My beloved put his hand by the latch of the door, and my heart yearned for him. I arose to open for my beloved and my hands stripped with mirror, my fingers with liquid mirror, on the handles of the lock I opened for my beloved. But my beloved had turned away and was gone. My heart leaped up when he spoke. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. The watchmen who went about the city found me. They struck me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took my veil away from me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, that you tell him, I am lovesick. What is your beloved more than another beloved, O fairest among women? What is your beloved more than another beloved, that you so charge us? My beloved is white and ruddy, chief among ten thousand. His head is like the finest gold, his locks are wavy and black as a raven, his eyes are like doves by the rivers of waters, washed with milk and fitly set, his cheeks are like a bed of spices, bangs of scented herbs, his lips are lilies, dripping liquid myrrh, his hands are rods of gold, set with burial. His body is carved ivory, inlaid with sapphires. His legs are pillars of marble, set on bases of fine gold. His countenance is like Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Yes, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem.